Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another legal question, odd even linked list. Awesome. So let's see the input and what we need to do here. So we're given this input as a linked list, and what we need to do is we need to collect all the odd items and then move them forward in the beginning. And we need to collect all the even spots. So when I say spots, I mean the indexes. Um, so this is an odd index here. So the first example is easy to understand because they have just given us the index the same as the value. So here we have one, so this is an odd, then three is an odd, and five is an odd. So what we need to do is move these three to the front, like one, three, five, and then move the even indexes to the end, so two and four. And we need to return this output. So that's what the question is asking. Um, if we look at another example here, so we need to move this, 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 and this value. So these are all the odd indexes. Um, and we need to put them here at the beginning. And then we will end with this, this, and this index. So that's what we need to return. And we need to perform this without any additional space so we can't create another linked list and just push the items. We need to do it in place and we need to uh, perform this at O of n time complexity. When I see a problem like this for linked lists, what I know they're trying to test is if I know how to move pointers. And Essentially, this whole answer is based on pointer manipulation. So if you haven't done this type of thing before, I would recommend doing reversing a linked list or copying a linked list just to get some ideas of how this works. Um, but if you haven't done that, that's fine. Just keep watching and you can pick up uh, what it is that we need to do to solve this question in O of 1 space. Okay, looking at the singly linked list, what do we know for sure? We know that the head is here, and we always know that the first position is odd. So how do we get to the even position? Well, we know that an odd position follows an even position. So we can say that even equals odd dot next, right? So, okay. I have initialized my even to odd.next and odd is the head because it's the first position. And when I do this, I am able to access this even, this first even position, right? So this is my first even position and how do I get to it? I get to it by doing odd.next and what does this give me? So dot next is how we access each item in our singly linked list. So if I'm here and I need to reach to the next spot, I will go ahead and say, okay, odd, give me your next element. And that's how we get the even. So I hope this initialization makes sense. Great, so I have my odd here and I have my even here. Now, how do I get this three connected to this one? So that's what we need to do. How do I get this three over here beside the one, and how do I move this arrow, right? So, okay, where is my current arrow? My current arrow is here at odd.next, and what it is connected to is my even, right? This two. Now, to move this over, I need to say, hey, take my pointer, which is odd.next, and connect it to the events next. So what is events next? Events next is three. So what we're doing here is saying, hey, take this pointer here and instead of having it connected to two, we will just move it and connect it to three. Right, so that's all that's happening here. Great, so how do we write this in code? So all we need to say is our odds next, which is this one. So odds next equals to events next. So we just took this pointer, this first odd dot next, and we just connected it to the even dot next. So that's what happened here. So let's write down what the singly linked list looks like right now. So we have one, we have three. Now the three is now connected to the one. So that's all we did in the first step. 
So we have connected these two, right? And the rest of the items are still in place, how they were. So four, five, and well, what happened to this two, right? Where is it? Okay, so the two is still connected to the three. So let's write it below. So the two is now disconnected from the one because we moved one's pointer to connect to three, right? So the two is still sitting here and it's still connected to three. Okay, my odd pointer is still here at the first position. And what I need to do is, well, in order to move forward and connect this five to the three, I need to move my odd pointer forward. Right, so because I can skip and access five, I need to go forward so I can reach this events next, right? Because that's how we're going to reach the second next item. So here, all I need to do is move this odd pointer over here. So I can say, okay, well, just move my odd to the odd dot next, right? So how would that look in code? So odd equals odd dot next. So all it's doing is just traversing the node and going to the next item. That's all that's happening here. So now my odd is here. And wait, something doesn't look right. Why, why is this two still connected to my odd, right? So I need this two to connect to my four because that's what we need to do here. We need to put all the even parts of um, the single link list in one spot and the odds in the other spot, right? So why why is this two still connected to my three? How do I access this four from this two, right? So I need to change this reference. So what I need to do is I need to say, hey, even, so my even is still here, remember? So even is still at two, that's how we initialized it. So we need to say, hey, even take your next, so take this next, and move it to odd.next. So move it to here. Right? So that's all we need to do in the next step. Okay, so after we connected the 2 to the 4, again, we need to do the same thing. We need to say, hey, odd dot next so three dot next connect yourself to events next so three go connect yourself to five so that's what's happening here right and so after that step is done we just move the odd we say hey odd now move yourself and see if there are more odds you can add to so our odd was here now we move it to here this is our new odd right and we say odd equals odd dot next. So this is where our pointer is currently. Now, the last thing we need to do is we need to go here and update the even. So we will say that, okay, even go to the next element of the odd because the next element of the odd is always even. So we say, hey, I'm here, I'm at odd. So how do I say that, okay, four, now don't connect yourself to the five move to the next element, move to odds next element. And odds next element is null, right? So what we're going to do is we will just point to the null and that's the end of the list, right? So instead of here, we will connect this four to odds next. So odd is five, odds next is null. So we will connect this to the null. And that's the end of the while loop. And now I'll show you the last step that we need to do is to put these two pieces together and connect connect our uh, answer together. So we need to print one, three, five, two, four. So how do we do that and what will our answer look like? Okay, so this is our current situation. So we have them in, in the order we want for the answer. We have one, three, five, and two, four. But the problem is this two is no longer connected uh, to the, the first part of the array, right? So how do we connect these two parts? 
So we know that our odd is sitting at the at the last position here at five. So odd is sitting at odd's last position, which is five. So what we can do, what we can think about is just to point this odd dot next to this two, right? So that's the last step of the process. So that's what we need to do to get this complete uh, transformed singly linked list. So I hope this explanation makes sense. All right, so we'll look at the code now and um, see how the full implementation works. Great, so I'm back at lead code and what I've done here is I have just uh, check this edge case check. So if head is null, then we don't, don't need to do anything. So we just return none. Um, and then what we're going to do first is I've assigned the odd um, variable to the head because the first item will always be odd. And then the even is just odd.next, so the next item. And what I've done here is I've also kept a reference to our first even um, occurrence in the linked list and this is called the even head and we need this because when we want to uh, connect our odd part of the singly linked list to the even part we need to connect the last item of the odd so in our example we saw five to the two to the first item to the even to form our uh, final answer so that's why that's here and uh, what I've done here is I've just said, okay, if uh, we are at the end of the um, iteration, so if even is uh, none, that means we're at the end, or if even.next is at none, that means we have no more work to do. So that's those are the conditions of the while loop here. Okay, so now we need to do our um, assignments. So the first thing I'm going to do is say odd.next equals even dot next. So in our example, this was the one connecting to the three, right? So we took our odd dot next. So one dot next um, is equal to, so once next will be equal to three. So that's what we did here. Okay, and then we need to move the odd forward. So odd equals odd dot next. So now our new odd will be um, at three. So odd is three. Okay. And then what we need to do is move our um, even pointer. So we will say that even dot next equals odd dot next. So here we are connecting the two and four. And how do we get four? Four is odd dot next because odd is three, so odds next is four. So we connected the two and four. Okay, let me make these arrows. I think that's better representation, okay? So that's what we did. And now all we need to do is move our even forward. So even equals even dot next. Okay, so our previous um, even was two, right? So we moved that pointer to now connect to four. So even is now four, okay? And the last thing we need to do is connect, um, once we're out of the while loop, the last thing we need to do is connect those, uh, the odd part of the singly linked list to our even part. So we have a pointer here that has the first even. So we will say that odd dot next so we are at the last odd now after this while loop is complete um, so in our example that would be five so odd dot next equals even head and this is what this is doing is connecting the five to the two as we saw in the drawings okay and the last thing we need to do is just return the head Okay, looks good. We'll run code. Okay, so the output looks good, and I'm going to go ahead and submit. 
Also, I'm accepted. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up.